Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so I think something must have happened here. Because this don't make a lot of sense why all of this stuff is out of this case. Um, this is where all the hamburger and stuff like that would go. The chicken. Yeah, this this must have shut down or something. or they, I don't know, but <laughs> this is uh, pretty crazy. Completely empty. Oh, that's terrible. Take the time to clean up some of that yolk. Uh, completely out of eggs. We see where eggs have gone up here to $3.99. They've gone up everywhere. Probably more than that, actually. $5.79 for 18-count eggs. Uh, yeah. Don't know about this. This is crazy. This looks like this might have broke down or something. But if it did, they're starting to put some things back on here because they do have the butter. Um, some cream cheese there. It's the light. Ooh, it's crazy looking. So there has definitely been an issue with milk all across the country. We talked about this in yesterday's video, and we've been getting several comments that a lot of your stores across the country haven't been getting in milk. Uh, we have been very low or out in a lot of stores. Usually they have good and gather here. They don't have any, but they, they do have some of the writer milk, but that's $5 a gallon, $4.59 a gallon. Um, surprised that they have any half and half left. This has been another issue we've seen in every other store. This is the most we've seen. We saw just a couple at Meyer, a few at Kroger. Uh, they do have the Dairy Pure here half and half though. Uh, so, you know, there are other options. Some of these silk and other options. Refrigerated creamers don't seem to be an issue around here. I know some people were saying that you've had some trouble. Uh, let's see. Some of the coffee mates here on sale, $3.79 down from $4.19. Uh, the bigger ones are still same price, expensive. <laughs> so this one directly across from the other one here does look like, I don't know. Like, because either they're restacking this now, I'm not really sure. But all this, see, it's not too uncommon for this stuff to fly off the shelves. Especially when we see a sale on it around here because this stuff's getting very expensive in a lot of stores But I can't imagine that all of this would be gone um, I don't know again. I think something may have happened to the other cabinet Taking down all the berries. Oh, no, there's some of them here. I don't know. This is crazy looking Huh Okay, so I was coming back toward the toilet paper aisle here and I noticed that this is like all gone I mean, not all gone, but look at it. Usually this is completely packed in. I don't know, this is pretty crazy. Um, up here near the front. Ugh. I mean, they got a lot of their brand there, which is cool, but I don't know. Usually this is stacked to the gills with Cottonelle. Crazy. And you know, it doesn't look like, uh, I don't know. This is crazy. Okay, so over here on the other side, on the other wall here, it does look like they are pretty well stocked with Charmin, though. Not a fan of Charmin. I don't know. It's usually just way overpriced these days. But yeah, they definitely got a lot in. What is this? Home care items. Spend $50. Get a free $15 gift card with Target Circle. Save this offer Save this offer in the Target app or at Target.com slash circle and scan wallet barcode at checkout. Okay. Well, I guess that would be anything on this participating deal. Huh. All right. And that could be the same thing with the Cottonelle. This just goes to show how much more popular Cottonelle is than Charmin. <laughs> Either that or they haven't gotten this in yet. I don't know. But yeah, it is uh, pretty low when it comes to the Cottonelle. Okay, so I'm just going to say first off, no children's medicine. I don't see... I'm surprised Target does not have a dedicated area for children's like Tylenol or anything. I don't see any kind of children's medicines. We saw a dedicated area at the Kroger Marketplace and Walmart. Walmart, probably the biggest out of all of them, had a complete dedicated uh, children's Tylenol, uh, all kinds of different children's medicines. None here at Target. Uh, some people were asking about just regular Tylenol. They do have it here at Target, but we have seen that it's been very low in a lot of stores lately. So that's something to keep in mind 
Uh, and this is something you may not want to worry too much about the price if you can get the cheaper brand. Um, you know, it's all acetaminophen, so um, we got ours at Members Mark, and they do have, wow, very low on Advil. Ibuprofen, very low on this. They don't have any of the big, well, okay, they got the Advil, but they don't have their brand for cheaper. Wow, this is pretty empty. This is the lowest I've ever seen. They do have some of the smaller boxes down here, but usually this is more full than this. Okay, so I asked somebody why they did, if they had any children's medicines. They put it over here in between all these allergy medicines. This don't make a lot of sense. But anyway, this is where they moved it. I knew there used to be one over there. It did used to be over on the other side, but now they have it here. So we do have some things, but look at this. Completely wiped out. They do have a sign here. Due to high demand and to support all guests, we will be limiting the quantities of infant and children's pain slash fever relief items to two per guest. I mean, they don't even really have anything. I guess, okay, so I guess this is children's Claritin. Okay, so they must have just moved this around. And I just never noticed it, but I mean, they don't have any of the uh, kids' title all, which everybody always asks about. We did see that at Walmart and Kroger Marketplace, and they had one thing at Walmart of the children's Advil. But um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, still pretty wiped out, but I'm, I'm glad to see that they still have this. I was, I was curious, so I wanted to ask somebody, and sure enough, this is where they moved it to couple of you over the last couple weeks asked if I would check on Lean Cuisine. Um, they do have them here at Target. I know you were saying that they've been going out the door. A lot of microwave meals have been very low around here. One, we had a huge snowstorm about a week and a half ago. Um, I'm sure that kind of played part in this. They are on sale this week though. $2.49 down from $3.29. So good savings here. But yeah, as you see here, they got some of these are kind of wiped out. Uh, they do have some of the chicken pot pies, uh, $3.69 here, $3.79 at Kroger, so a little bit of savings, but yeah, they're pretty low on them. Pretty much no sales on coffee here at Target this week, except for Dunkin' Donuts. is on sale for $7.49 for the ground. It's a pretty good deal. And this Caribou coffee here, $7.99. Never tried this before. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried this coffee here. Uh, look at this. Just notice this one. They got the Pete's Ground Coffee here. $8.99. They had it for $8.49 at Meyer. But yeah, good to see. If you got a Target near you. I know we have a lot of Pete's coffee drinkers on the channel here. Pretty much it as far as sales go at Target here this week, though. So I wonder if the prices went up on the quick oats here and they just didn't change the sticker. This is some of the funny things we see at Target sometimes. $1.89 for the 18 ounce thing of old fashioned oats. But it says on sale $2.49, regular price $2.69. So this price has gone up. I'm surprised they didn't notice this. So the regular price is going to be $2.69 on sale for $2.49. But change that sticker, guys. All that being said, we have gotten some great comments on the Good & Gather products. Uh, also, the Old Fashioned Oats is the one somebody mentioned one time. $4.19 here. We've noticed that our Aldi, that their oats, um, the Old Fashioned and the Quick Oats, have gone back down to $2.49. Now, that was a sale, an Aldi Saver deal at $2.49, but it has since been the regular price now. So you may want to check your Aldi. Let me know down in the comments if your Aldi has uh, gone back to that price. Uh, it's a good price. $4.19 is a good price, you know, as long as it's good, because we saw um, the Quaker oats on sale at Kroger were $5.99 the other day. So uh, definitely better deal here. It's really hard for me to trust these regular prices uh on these because of what we saw back there but this does say regular price 389 on the sales sticker so i guess that's correct 349 on the zazo tees this week get a lot of comments on these also the traditional medicinal uh organic tees here 449 50 cents off got some comments on these the other day and they have a lot of variety here at target Last time we were at Target, somebody asked about the Good & Gather vegetables and if they were worth it. They are. We've tried them all. Corn's good. Green beans are good. The ones for $0.55 cents are the ones we've tried. Definitely worth $0.55. Cents. 
Um, if I had to take my choice of value over, I do like the Aldi Happy Harvest ones, and I also like Walmart Great Value. Um, but Good and Gather is good. If I was shopping at Target and I needed them, definitely. We got several comments of the price hikes of the Ben's Original Ready Rice. Some of you were saying that your stores were out of them. They're pretty low here at Target, lower than normal too, especially at $2.79 a bag. I mean, that's just crazy. $2.59 at Kroger now, so they, they are going up. But $2.79, yeah, I don't know. Part of the reason why we shop at Target for some of these things is if we can't find them in the other stores. Now, one thing that we've been getting a lot of comments on is sugar. A lot of people haven't been able to find sugar. Uh, Target seems to always have it, mostly because I don't think a lot of people shop at Target for sugar. Uh, $2.99 for the four-pound bag. Uh, it's about the same price as it is everywhere right now. Um, and they even have the crystal sugar down here. What is that, $2.49? Yeah, $2.49 for four pounds. Uh, they've got the... A little pricier than Meyer, but they do have the King Arthur flower here for $5.99. Um, let's see, got some different organic options here. The Good and Gather All Purpose Flower, got some good comments on this. $5.29 for that. That's the organic, that's usually pretty expensive. Uh, we got the Almond Flower, the Red Mill brand here, Bob's Bread Mill, $9.79 for that. Uh, we get a lot of comments on this. Here's the coconut flour that somebody asked about. $4.29 for that. Some decent prices on it, too. This this can get really expensive. Well, I don't know. I've seen this at Big Lots for $8.99, but not much cheaper. Next on our list definitely has to be pasta. We've been getting lots and lots of comments, mostly Walmart. We've got a lot of comments of your Walmarts across the country that have been out of pasta. We saw where ours only had a couple boxes. This is another option here at Target. We've had the Good and Gather spaghetti here, 95 cents a pound. It's great spaghetti. Uh, we really liked it. Um, they used to have a bigger, oh, here it is. Family size here, this is two pounds for $1.59, so you can get it for 80 cents a pound. So that's a pretty good deal. But as you can see here, they are pretty much like everywhere else and very low. $2.39 down here for the ready pastas. Now we did see these. Uh, at Dollar Tree, surprisingly, Dollar Tree, same size, eight and a half ounce bag for a dollar twenty-five. For a dollar twenty-five, so that's a good deal at Dollar Tree. Well, look what I just ran into here. Always getting comments on these tuna creations of the Starkiss. Looks like they are on sale until Saturday, January seventh, twenty twenty-three. Also, today is January third. Yeah, January 3rd. <laughs> I had to think about that. 20, January 3rd, 2023, today. So you'll have until Saturday the 7th to get these. 99 cents. $1.49 regular price. Now we saw where they were $1.89 at Kroger. But they have since uh, took 20 cents off a pack for their regular price. So they're $1.69 a pack at Kroger now. But that's a good deal. Gotten a lot of comments on these. If you got a Target near you, lots of variety here too. Also gotten a lot of comments on the Idahoan potatoes. Guys, they got these uh, four for four dollars on the Imperk deal at Meyer. Uh, so you can get them for a dollar a piece. Dollar thirty-nine here, but if you have a Meyer near you, uh, yeah, you can make that. It's on sale for a dollar twenty-five, four for five. But then with the Imperk deal, you get it uh, four for four, which is a great deal. But um, yeah, another option here if you can't find these. Target does have them, but they are a dollar thirty-nine a piece. Somebody mentioned that they saw the Frank's Red Hot coming back in. We had seen it fly off the shelves there for a while. Couldn't find any. Looks like they're getting the smaller ones back in. This isn't the real small bottles, but uh, 319 These are up from 289 I bought this one here not that long ago for 289 up to 319 uh, The funny thing is these were 529 for the big ones. Still 529 but I don't know. Since this one went up, I would definitely take a picture of this. Make sure you get it for that price because... I don't know. Seems like that one would be a little more now. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on Baby Formula. Uh, the biggest one has been the Similac Sensitive. Uh, we've been getting lots of comments on that. People have been emailing us, asking if we knew where to find it. I will tell you, so far we have found it at Walmart, Meyer, Kroger Marketplace, and now Target. They do have it here. It is not $44.99. That is in the wrong spot. Um, but this is all Target has. Um, 
you know i would say this is probably the least out of anywhere and usually it's pretty well packed in here at target with the kenda mill uh which comes from the uk thank you to our uk neighbors but uh this has been another big one that people have been looking for at target but it's been very low here lately so have to keep our eyes out on that yeah it's definitely low uh, they got the bigger ones here of the sensitive also 20.1 ounces but i don't see a price on here yeah this is for that so i don't know lots of prices uh lots of stickers missing here on the smaller ones that we're noticing next thing i wanted to point out right away here at target is cat food and we see where it is low here also got a bunch of cat litter right here not seeing the tidy cats around that's kind of been going out the door as far as cat litter goes they do have a lot of meow mix though this has been one people have been asking about got the 22 pound bags here for 24.99 15.39 for the uh i don't see the 13 and a half pound bags there's another 13 and a half pound bag 15.99 they do have some of the smaller bags but this is what we're seeing run out of the most uh, all the smaller bags of Meow Mix, four seventy nine here at uh, Target. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely been an issue. We've been getting a lot of comments on this lately. Again, I will say for all of our new viewers, if you're having trouble finding pet food, a lot of our viewers use Chewy.com. Uh, if you're in their service area, forty nine dollars gets you free shipping. Also, Walmart.com, a lot of our viewers use, and most of them have told me that thirty five dollars. Or more get you free shipping so that's something to think about although it has been very low at walmart lately so i really don't know if they're going to be able to cover that but this is an issue you know this is, uh, issue with the wet cat food last year now we're having an issue with the dry cat food even the more expensive brands are starting to get bought up here like the uh, purina kitten chow and stuff like this i am's here um which uh, these are pretty expensive you know i mean it's it's hard to feed ourselves these days, let alone our pets. <laughs> um, they do got these pure uh, Purina One cans here for $1.19. I don't really see these at many stores, so it's good to see variety. But yeah, a lot of these more expensive Purina Ones uh, bags of cat food here, I mean, they're getting bought up. As far as dog food goes, Pedigree does a great job. It's probably the one that we get the most comments on on the channel, uh, that and Purina One. Uh, one bag of Purina one there, but good to see they're still getting this in. They're missing some stuff, but they got the Beneful packets that we always get comments on. The Caesar packets, well, it's a little bit of a better deal to buy the multi-packs, obviously, because you're going to pay $1.50 a piece for one of these now pretty much everywhere. They've gone up everywhere. I did find the Tidy Cats here at Target, though. It does look like they have quite a, a good amount here. Eleven forty nine. that is the same price at Kroger and Walmart. I uh, didn't see hardly any at Kroger the other day, and Walmart was very low. But let's look over here. Plenty of fancy feasts. This is good to see. They do have the their 85 cents can, 5 cents can cheaper than Kroger. Um, and yeah, the fancy feast has stepped up to the plate. They've been uh, back in business. Haven't seen too much trouble around here, at least, with fancy feasts. And they have the Sheba packets here that we saw at Walmart the other day. 95 cents here at Target. Um, a little bit of a deal on these tastefuls here too. Buy five, get one, a dollar off. A little pricey for these, but that is the blue brand. We have been seeing some issues with fancy or uh, friskies here. They do have some though. Um, let's see, I don't see any nine lives, but we've been seeing nine lives uh, pretty much everywhere else. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're getting some in. Friskies has been a, a little bit of an issue, but the one we always get comments on is Fancy Feast. Um, but yeah, good to see they're getting some wet cat food in. Okay, guys, well, that is all the time I have today at Target. Lots of empty shelves. I was surprised. Surprised to see all that. Now, I talked to an employee. Um, yeah, he said it looked like they were shorthanded. He didn't know anything about the refrigeration or anything going out in that we know that milk has been an issue everywhere. 2% uh, seems to be the number one that a lot of places aren't getting in. Uh, we've seen that at Kroger, Meyer, mostly just whole milk. Didn't even see any skim milk at Meyer. So we got to keep an eye on that stuff. Uh, also with eggs, no eggs here. Um, eggs are getting uh, too expensive everywhere. I mean, some of the prices, our prices are going up. Your prices are going up. 
We just got to try and, you know, look and see where we can find the best deals. I, I don't even really know anymore. That's why we do this every day to try and find the best deals to help save you money. And looks like gas is starting to go up a little bit again, too. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.